places on Earth that look completely alien. One of the most famous scenes in science fiction cinema comes at the end of the 1968 hit Planet of the Apes. Astronaut George Taylor, after traveling in space for 2,000 years, apparently has landed on an alien planet ruled by intelligent apes that are determined to exterminate the planet's primitive human population. Taylor manages to free himself and an indigenous female companion from captivity and decides to ride off on horseback to explore the planet's so-called nuclear war ravaged forbidden zone, despite warnings from ape elder Dr. Isaias that he won't like what he will find. Taylor and his partner struggle to cross a harsh, otherworldly-looking landscape, full of deep, startlingly hued canyons, until they finally reach a shoreline. That's where Taylor finds the half-buried Statue of Liberty and realizes that he's not on a distant planet after all, but a future version of Earth. A cynical moviegoer might wonder in retrospect why it took Taylor so long to realize that he actually was back on his own planet, since it had a breathable atmosphere, a hospitable climate, and vegetation and animals such as horses that he'd seen before. But the filmmakers managed to make Taylor's cluelessness believable by putting him in a place that an unwary person easily could mistake for an alien world. Much of the Forbidden Zone, for example, actually was Red Rock Canyon State Park in California, where the towering, red-tinted rock formations look as if they belong on Mars. And Red Rock is just one of many places on Earth that are so strange looking that they seem as if they ought to be on some other planet. Here are 10 of the most alien looking locations right here on Earth. Atacama Desert, Chile. The Atacama, which stretches 600 miles, 1,000 kilometers, from Peru's southern border into northern Chile, is what climatologists describe as an absolute desert. It is filled with sterile, bone dry stretches where rain has never been recorded for as long as humans have been measuring the weather. As a result, much of this parched area is totally devoid of vegetation. Source, this island. With features such as sand dunes and lava flows, it's not hard to imagine the Atacama as being similar to the landscape that robotic probes, and someday, astronauts, would find on Mars. That's one reason that NASA has used the Chilean desert as a test site. In 2005, for example, a NASA probe detected microbial life in the Atacama's seemingly barren soil, as scientists are hopeful that they'll also be able to do on Mars. Source, NASA. Craters of the Moon National Monument and Preserve Idaho. This 618 square mile, 1,600 square kilometer, region bears an eerie resemblance to the meteor battered lunar surface. Actually, though, its scarred landscape is the result of the stretching movement of Earth's crust over the past 30 million years. As the crust stretches, it releases pressure onto the hot rocks below, causing them to melt. The hot magma then flows along weaknesses in the surface and results in multiple periods of volcanic activity, the most recent one about 2,000 years ago. During that eruption, lava burst from the Great Rift, a series of deep cracks that stretch for 52 miles, 84 kilometers. The craters of the moon continues to be volatile, and scientists predict that it will experience future eruptions that will alter its surface. McMurdoch Dry Valleys, Antarctica The largest ice-free region in Antarctica is a windswept, frozen desert whose rugged terrain looks as if it belongs on Pluto rather than our planet. Covering 9,300 square miles, 15,000 square kilometers, its valleys were carved by glaciers that long ago retreated, leaving in their wake a broken layer of boulders, gravel and pebbles, all of which have been worn down by the harsh weather and sorted by the strong winds. The surface contains deposits of marine sediments, in addition to sand dunes and ash, and covers a layer of soil that's millions of years old. Scientists like the dry valleys because the lack of ice makes it easier for them to get a look at the current geological processes affecting Antarctica. Rich at structure, Mauritania. You've probably seen pictures of Jupiter's mysterious great red spot which actually is a gigantic storm about two to three times the size of our entire planet, source, Choi. But when viewed from space, Earth has a similarly strange looking surface feature. 
The Richat structure in Mauritania is a gigantic circular swirl, about 30 miles, 50 kilometers, in diameter, that forms a bullseye in an otherwise feature-loose expanse of West African desert. When astronauts first noticed the Richat structure in the 1960s, it was believed to be a crater left behind by an immense meteor, because of the uniformity of its curves. But scientists now think that it's a rock formation of Paleozoic quartzites, laid bare by erosion either way, though, it's plenty strange looking.